ओके सो गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू भास्कर देसाई एंड टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज हाउ वन कैन रिपोर्ट द इम्प्यूरिटीज मीन्स वॉट मीन हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स आफ्टर अ डेसिमल पॉइंट नीड्स टू बी कंसिडर्ड वाइल रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ एन इम्प्यूरिटी सो यू मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट द टू इम्पॉर्टेंट आई सी एच गाइडलाइन वेन इट कम्स टू इम्प्यूरिटीज द फर्स्ट वन इज आई सी एच गाइडलाइन नंबर क्यू थ्री ए आर टू and uh, this guideline talks about impurities in new drug substances and i will walk you through the important information where you will be able to understand the digits after decimal points while reporting of an impurities for drug substances and in case if you want to report the impurities in drug products then you have to refer to the ich guideline q3br2 so let me take you to the page number 7 where i will explain you about the digits up uh, while reporting of the impurities so yes we are on the page number 7 and this page number 7 talks about uh the reporting impurities content of batches the point number 5 so what is point number 5 talks about and i would like to you know take your attention on to this sentence on so below 1% the result should be reported to two decimal places example point 06% 0.13% you can understand that all these values are below 1.0% at and above 1.0% in case if your results are above 1% the result should be reported to one decimal place example 1.3% so there is only one digits after a decimal required in case if the impurity at 1.0 or above 1.0% and when the impurity content is less than 1.0% if the result is less than 1% then you must report the impurity result up to two digits after a decimal point 0.06% 0.13% are the given example in the guideline now let us understand the requirement mentioned into the uh, ich guideline q3br2 which talks about impurities into new drug products hmm? impurities into a new drug product so let me take you again on the same page the page number 7 of the different guideline by the way this time and let us understand you know what is mentioned into this guideline so yes let us uh, read the guideline from this sentence onward so if the impurity content is below 1.0% the result should be reported to the number of decimal places in the applicable reporting threshold now this is the difference right in case of new drug substances ich guideline talks about reporting the impurities until two digits after a decimal point right you can see over here right the two decimal places needs to be considered while reporting the impurities below 1% okay below 1% but when we go to the drug product and if the impurity content is below 1% what is guidance says that you need to report the impurities according to the applicable reporting threshold applicable reporting threshold so in case if the uh, reporting threshold is uh, 0.1% if the reporting threshold is 0.05% how this information is going to influence your reporting pattern i will take you to the example but before that let us understand you know now this is for the impurity content below 1.0% but in case if the impurity content is at or above 1% then the result should be reported to one decimal place for example 1.3 so the impurity content at or above 1% there is no need to consider the respective applicable reporting threshold the guideline talks about one digit after a decimal point sufficient and you can see the similar kind of requirement even in case of the drug substance too at and above 
it should be reported up to only one decimal place only one decimal place so there is a similarities between drug substance and drug product when when the impurity content is at or above one percent but there is certainly a difference when the impurity content is below one percent so let me again take you to the the point which i made below one percent and the impurities has to be reported against the applicable reporting threshold let us take one example which is also given into the same guidance document so what is meant by reporting threshold in case of drug substance if the drug substance maximum daily dose is uh, equal to or less than one gram it is 0.1 percent only one digit after a decimal point but in case if the maximum daily dose of the uh, drug product is greater than one gram then the reporting threshold is 0.05 percent which is having the two digits after a decimal point let us uh, having understood this information let us go to the example given into the same guidance document and i would like to show this example number one so according to this example number one what is the maximum daily dose reported over here 50 milligram so the 50 milligram is absolutely less than one gram and hence you can understand that the reporting threshold is going to be a 0.1 percent so how much are the digits after a decimal place with this reporting threshold only one digit after a decimal place so you can see that you know whatever impurities which are reported in this uh, example having the digits having only one digit after a decimal point 0.2%, 0 0.3%, 0 0.6%. The reason is why? Because the reporting threshold, which is applicable in this case, has a digit, has a one digit after a decimal place. I hope you understand this. Let us also uh, examine the example number two given in the same guidance document where the reporting threshold, uh, sorry, where the maximum daily dose is 1.9 gram, which is greater than one gram. So if the maximum daily dose is greater than a gram, your reporting threshold is how much? Is 0.05%. Means you are expected to now report the impurities until two digits after a decimal point. And you can see over here, 0 0.08. Again, two digits after a decimal place, 0.18%. <clears throat> Again, two digits after a decimal point and 0.19% again two digits after a decimal place so this is very important difference when it comes to reporting of the impurities maybe sometimes for the new drug substances or the new drug product thank you so much